as you uh, find your way back to your seats, we want to invite all our children to come forward. We want to say good morning once again. All right, children, come on down for Woo children's time. All the beautiful children. Mr. Art has got a great message for you. Come on, Levi. Okay, <laughs> last Sunday while y'all were in Sunday school, Pastor Dustin talked to us about the gifts of the Spirit, fruit of the Spirit. And he actually gave us a little bit of homework to do. And I'm sure all your parents spoke every night at the dinner table about forbearance. But... So what, so what I did this week is I, during my work week, I paid attention to people that showed joy and people that didn't show joy. And the ones that showed joy, I mean, it was, it's like making lemonade out of lemons. If it was a windy day, they said, well, if it wasn't windy, it'd be too hot. If uh, we didn't catch a lot of big fish today, but God, the water was beautiful, it was such a great day to to be out in God's splendor. It might have been a tough day at work, but you know what? If you didn't have tough days at work, you'd never have easy days at work. So it all worked out. And then the people that, and these are longtime friends or acquaintances and stuff that just always seemed to be grumpy and whiny and, you know, their gripes were, you know, the wind only blows on the weekends. I work all week and I go to fish and blowing on the weekends and um, you know people who live in some of these wealthy communities they are so picky and they're always the last ones to pay their bills <laughs> and I, I had one wonderful waitress she said this guy comes in every day and brags about his eighty thousand dollars Mercedes and then leaves me a nice big one dollar tip every day so. I think what happens is people let their joy get robbed by jealousy and envy. Now, how does jealousy and envy relate to you? How about if you had a friend that lived down the street that had a really nice swimming pool and you didn't have one? And you go, sometimes you get to thinking, man, I wish I was born into that family where I'd have that swimming pool. And uh, say you had a friend that was going to a really nice summer camp, maybe with horses and up in the mountains, and you want to go so bad, but you know you can't go. It's not, it's not feasible for your family. And you go, well, you know what? Maybe she'll get in trouble at church and, and won't be able to go. So, but the uh, thing is, is God gives you everything you need. The Bible tells us that, that God will provide you with everything. Not everything you want, but everything you need. And I can tell you, I know all your parents, your parents love you tremendously. Everybody in this church loves you. Mr. Snoop loves you, <laughs> but, but mainly Jesus loves you. And that's really all you need. So we're gonna pray and at the end, I'll get everybody to give me a nice big amen. Dear Lord, thank you for the gifts that you've given us and allow them to use us, to use them, to use us, to show the world that we are happy because of living in your life. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen.